The People's Action Party will introduce its slate of election candidates over the next two weeks. The party's organizing secretary, Defense Minister Ng Eng Hen, announced this today, declaring that election season has begun. The People's Action Party is set to make announcements regarding its preparations for the upcoming general election from as early as tomorrow. Over the next two weeks, uh, now that uh, till the National Day rally or over the next two weeks or so, uh, we will be, the PAP will be making a number of announcements. Uh, first of retiring MPs, uh, which we have started uh, actually this week. And I would say that I'm very happy with uh, the way some announcements have come through. It was a much better way of uh, announcing retirements and I think, as I said, a much, deliberate, a much more deliberate and dignified way of uh, announcing retirements. And I'm very glad with the reception uh, that we've had and we'll continue that uh, over, uh, as I say, up to NDR or so. Dr. Ng added that these announcements will be made in stages. Uh, second, we'll be introducing new candidates, uh, who they are. More than that, not only who they are, but where they are standing. Uh, what they have done in the constituency in which they are standing in the last one, two, some even more than two years. A third, in line with that, uh, we'll be introducing the whole slate to the constituency. This is a radical change. In other words, uh, Whereas previously we were only announcing the whole slate of candidates on nomination day, we are telling you who's going to stand well before nomination day, whatever day that comes. We will announce it uh, in an orderly manner. So probably one at the most two uh, GRCs plus MS, M SMCs per day. We've left it to the uh, GRCs and SMCs to choose their format. Yeah. On Monday, Dr. Ng visited residents at Jalan Dusun and Ahud Road in Belestia. The area, which was previously under the Momin Kalang GRC, will be part of Bishan Tuapayo GRC, following the changes to the electoral boundaries. Dr. Ng, who is the anchor minister of the PAP's Bishan Tuapayo GRC team, was joined by his fellow MPs, as well as three new faces, including Second Permanent Secretary for Trade and Industry, Chi Hong Tat. Mr. Chi, whose last day with the civil services on Tuesday, said it was up to the party to decide where he will stand. But as a resident of the area, he said he would be very happy to serve in Bishan Tuapayo. Dr. Ng also said that new candidates introduced will have what it takes to run a town. Political parties can game it. They look at the slate that's announced and because PAP has to put up more candidates to ensure succession, not only to take care of the wards, but to run the government, to run Singapore. Uh, opposition parties can say, well, you know, this particular constituency is having two or even three new candidates. You know, uh, I should uh, try to put up a good fight there. That's the risk we run and we ask residents to, to appreciate this. But this is the promise, whoever we put up, the bottom line is that we have assessed them, they are able to run a town. They are able to take care of a town, they will make sure that the finances of the town council will be well run. The bottom line is uh, whatever, whoever we put up, uh, candidates, new candidates or old, that's again non-negotiable. They can run the town council well and complying with the law. And not only the the, the the letter of the law, the spirit of the law, accountability, integrity, honesty, transparency. Dr. Ng also said the slates for Bishan Tuapayo GRC will be revealed on Wednesday.